Hi guys, welcome to this video about the C++ redistribu <laughs> redistributable error 1935. So I'm telling you why this happened to me, what I did to, and yeah, what I did to resolve the problem. So at the end, I was able to fix that quite easily, much easier than. Uh, what other uh, pages describe. So how did everything start? Uh, actually I wanted to install this Nuance Paperport 14. That's a scanning software. Uh, it's not perfect but if you need uh, scanning, PDF scanning with OCR recognition, I mean character recognition, then it's still the best value around. I've been a lot of research uh, and, 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 and it's it's the best thing. I mean, a lot of people are complaining about paper port. Me too. Yeah, there are a few bugs and a few problems, but at the end, it's still the best value. So what I did, uh, I, I mean, I ordered that and I you, uh, you still get a CD-ROM or you at least can click on that. I think it's cheaper when you um, select the CD-ROM. So anyway, I, I, I got a CD-ROM uh, to install this software. And so I went on the Explorer and so I selected the, yeah, I double clicked uh on yeah on this icon oh that was a little bit loud hope <laughs> didn't damage your ears so uh yeah then, then i select yes selected yes and um yeah so i went from there and after that uh what happened uh yeah it did a lot of uh, things and so on looked good at the beginning and then it was showing something like i mean um yeah, it didn't look exactly like here. The error icon looked a little bit different, but anyway, it said, yeah, uh, Microsoft Visual C++ re, uh, d redistribution, uh, d <laughs> that's a difficult word, redistributable error 1935. And yeah, I tried with compatibility modes and so on and yeah it didn't work so i don't know i already had installed this on other computers uh without problem even uh windows 10 uh, 64 bits version no problem at all and yeah, I tried. Uh, I started to research a little bit, and I found pages like here. When you see what they what they recommend to do, uh, yeah, indicates to resolve this issue. Please follow these steps below. Look at this. You will be busy for ten years. See that? You don't want to deal with that. So, um, what I did, I went to the Microsoft page. So you can always find, uh, Google that uh, for uh, download C++ um, distributable uh, versions, something like that, and download, and it will probably directly guide it to this. And I, yeah, I can, uh, I will put a link down there so you can download. I, I will also put a link to the paper port if you're interested uh, that's a really good thing so uh, but anyway so what i did i downloaded the current version so here you have the visual studio we see um c plus plus i think it was that i'm pretty sure not 100 percent sure but i think it was that so here you can have the 64 bits uh version and here you have the 30 two bits version um also on the other page where i've been i think uh, there is hold on a second mm, i thought it, 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 it's there but anyway uh i mean visual yeah i think it's maybe not this thing it's not visual studio it's it's visual c 
Hmm. I will definitely Google that and put the link down below so you, so you get the uh, right um, link to download from an o official site like Microsoft. So anyway, I, I installed that, no problem at all. And then I my um, idea was to um, start the whole installation process, but not from here but specifically a little bit later. So when you click on that, there is a uh, auto run and that installs everything like the C++ and then the, uh, yeah, whatever, uh, virus, Trojans, uh, bloatware, uh, <laughs> no. Yeah, no, usually it's not, not so bad, but it, it it's everything in a specific order and you have no choice. So when you want to have a choice, you have to open that so like this with right click and then you get the thing. So usually it, it will run the auto run, I think. So I went then to the paper port folder and there, it, there was a setup here. And then I run this uh, setup. And that was really only the setup for the paper port. So if you have a similar situation where you have CD-ROM or a package like this, so try not to use the uh, start uh, or auto run or something like this, which is on the root level, try to find the specific um, setup exe and then you can install the whole thing without the old visual C++ and yeah it really worked for me and uh, yeah that's actually it I do I have something else no that's about it so yeah really it it, 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 re it was really super easy it really worked for me I hope it will work for you too if you have any questions or comments then just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time